Okay, so today we're going to go ahead and talk about angular momentum conservation. So let's think about it. What do ice skaters do to spin faster? So imagine an ice skater with their arms outstretched, and then all of a sudden when they put their arms in closer to their body, they speed up so, so much. That is just a great example of conservation of angular momentum. So ice skaters not be, might not be saying to themselves, oh, I'm going to conserve my angular momentum and bring my arms close to my body, and I will spin faster. But we have a lot of cool intuitive things that we do in our life that involve conservation of angular momentum. So let's think about when is it conserved. So when is angular momentum, angular momentum, and again, the symbol for angular momentum is L, conserved. So this is conserved when there are no outside or net torque acting on a system. So again, if an ice skating is like on basically frictionless ice that's not creating a torque on them spinning, they move their arms from outstretched to inside. No one is like pushing on their arm or doing anything. It's just one closed system. So that means angular momentum is conserved. So again, that's when there are no outside or net torques acting on a system. And again, for linear momentum, linear momentum is conserved when there's no outside net forces or impulses acting on a system. Okay, so equation for angular momentum conservation is just L initial equals L final. So this is just the sum of all the initial angular momentum equals the sum of L final, and it will be conserved. We're going to go ahead and solve one example problem together now using this idea. Okay. So go ahead, we're gonna, I got this problem from my Wolfson textbook. Go ahead, I want you to draw a before picture and after picture. And we're gonna now go ahead and use this new strategy called conservation of angular momentum. And then check back into the video after you've done your before and after picture. And again, anytime things are colliding, we will draw a before or separating, exploding, we'll draw a before and after picture. Okay, so you've drawn it yourself right now, so you can just use mine for editing. So let's see, we have our initial picture, so we have a good old merry-go-round. Okay, so there's our good old merry-go-round. It has rotational inertia. So I'll say I of the merry-go-round is what? 120 kilogram meter squared is spinning at 3.14 radians per second. Initially counterclockwise, so it's spinning like that. Okay, let's see, a 30 kilogram child going 10 to the merry-go-round edge. So the child, okay, is moving like this at what, 2.5 meters per second, um, 30 kilograms. And let's see, it's a three meter diameter. Usually we'll care about the radius, so it's a 1.5 meter radius. Okay, in the same direction the merry ground is rotating. Awesome, that's good to think about. So what, should it go faster or slower? If it's, they're both going in the same direction, well, I guess it also depends on the mass of the person. So I guess we'll find out overall. But they're going in the same direction. That's one good thing to think about. Okay, so final. Okay, and they jump on. So afterwards, they are going to be together. So here's our person. Let's draw them like wherever they might. I guess they'll initially jump on right here. So I'll just draw them right there. That is a little more clever. I should have done that to start with. Okay, cool. Nice little picture. It always fixes those little things. Okay, so and that's our final. And we want to find new angular velocity. So that is like our omega x. Awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and use these ideas. So we know L initial is going to be equal to L final. So let's look initially. How many objects do we have initially? Do we have one or two objects initially? We have two different objects initially. So I'm going to call this, it's like the L of the merry-go-round plus L of the person. And I added these two because the person and the merry-go-round are making it, they want to make it rotate the same direction. If, let's say, the person was running the opposite direction, I would subtract those two. So we have L initial equals L final. Afterwards, they are together, so I'm going to call it L of O. Cool. Let's go ahead and think about what equations to do. So merry-go-round, that is like a shape. So I'm going to use my normal angular momentum equation. So it's I of merry times omega, the person. The person, we can consider that as a point mass. So we can, for the person, we can use MBR for the person. Afterwards, they're together. So 
I'm going to call it the moment of inertia of both times the omega of both. Cool. So now let's go ahead and see what we can plug in. So merry-go-round is what? 120. Omega for the merry-go-round is 2.5 plus, let's see, mass of the child is 30. Linear velocity is 2.5. And the radius is 1.5. Cool. I of both, um, let's see, I of both, they're together afterwards. So I of both, let's think about what that is. We're going to have I of the merry-go-round plus I of the person. Okay, merry-go-round we already know is 120 kilogram meter squared. The person is just a point mass on the edge. So I can call that MR squared. So we essentially have 120 plus, let's see, the mass of the kid is 30. The radius is 1.5. Okie dokie. So I got, when I plugged that all in, I got 187.5 kilogram meter squared for the moment of inertia of both of them afterwards. So let's plug that in. So 187.5 times omega of both. Cool. And I go ahead and plug that into my good old calculator, solve for omega of both, which is essentially omega final, which I got 2.61 radians per second. Okay, so it did look like it started to slow down. I guess that make, that does make sense because the person has a lot of mass and they caused it to slow down and they weren't moving quite fast enough to make the merry-go-round go faster and faster. One little thing I want to add is we included for our initial picture, this is what we included as our whole system. The person and the merry-go-round combined were a whole system and afterwards, again, it's still the person and merry-go-round. If we said the person and merry-go-round were separate, then that means the person is creating a torque on the merry-go-round, but we're creating it, calling it one whole system together. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching.